Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Try it. The problem is that you are afraid. The vast majority here are afraid, ah, uh, if I start seeing things, I'll see things I don't want to see. So you have to reach an agreement, because there is no way for you to evolve more or less. Either you evolve, and take possession of the gifts that your souls have, or you stay stuck in the same place. Now please don't complain. Stop, I can't do it. Stop, I don't see. Stop, not me, not me, not me. The sentence has to be, I am, not I don't. I am capable, I am powerful, I am strong, I am a being ready for ascension. That's what you have to say, every day. Make it a mantra, I am powerful. Look at the strength in this sentence. You are affirming to the universe that you are powerful and the universe is listening, and is giving you more and more power. Now, there is always a catch. Be careful, because in the same way that you have more power, to do better things, you also increase your power, to do bad things. So, police your thoughts. Because everything bad you imagine against your colleague will happen because you are powerful. So you're going to give up a very strong power, just because you're afraid of not hurting anyone? If you happen to hurt someone in your anger, ask for forgiveness immediately. Ready. Don't be afraid to be powerful. And I tell you, the more time passes, the more you empower yourself, the more you lose certain habits, to judge, to contest, to condemn the other. You simply look at the error and think or say, it's his choice. Done, it's over. Nothing more to comment. Why do you have to comment on each other's lives? Why? What sense, what desire do you have? to comment on other people's lives. Out of envy, most of the time, by judgment, also most of the time. Who are you to judge others? So let's change this, let's be powerful, but powerful, on the path of light. Imagine if each one of you, tomorrow, when you woke up, shouted with a lot of faith, shouted with a lot of love, shouted with a lot of certainty, with a lot of heart, I am in the fifth dimension. Imagine, if every inhabitant of this planet said that, what would happen? Your vibration would rise to such a point that you would trigger the event. Because the planet would feel that you are ready and it would carry everyone with it. And it would be the most beautiful event this universe has ever seen. Because there would be no suffering, there would be no doubt, there would be no pain, just light. But unfortunately, you are not enough for that. But I can say that just because you are not enough does not mean that you are not important. Because each of you is exhaling a quantum of energy to the planet. And every step you take forward, and that pillar of light grows, the frequency of the planet also grows, you add to the frequency of the planet. Remember, what did you do in the April meditation? You changed the timeline. Everything sped up to a faster line. Are you powerful or not? If they weren't, nothing would have happened. And every time you come together, in one thought, things move faster. So how come you are not powerful? I want my brothers, that from today, each one of you who is here listening to me, when waking up, the vast majority have a mirror in front of them to prepare for the day. So get in front of the mirror. Look at yourself, be grateful for the being of light that you are, I am grateful for being a being of light. Very good. The second phrase, I am a powerful being of light. The third phrase, I am a fifth dimensional being of light. Only that. Say this every morning. The first thing you will do when you get out of bed, look in the mirror and repeat these three phrases. And I guarantee, to each of you, that you will see the changes. Now, as I always say here, I am a being of light. You're not saying anything, you're repeating like a parrot. You have to speak from the heart, 
put your heart out and make it speak. Then many ask, what is speaking from the heart? It's speaking with emotion, it's feeling every word you're saying, it's believing in every word that's being said. This is speaking from the heart. So whoever speaks from the heart will see the results. Now it's a decision you have to make, a very serious one. Either you want to be powerful, in the broadest sense of the word, and then be ready for everything, or you will be more or less ready. No, more or less you can't. Because whoever decides, I am powerful, I am ready for whatever comes. Be ready for whatever comes. So whoever feels afraid, don't empower yourself, because your fear will only increase. Then you empower yourselves, and what do you have to do when you feel afraid? Who do you have around? So if you empower yourself, and a situation arises that causes you fear, call your masters immediately. Did you understand? Do you understand where we are trying to get to with you? Immediately, call your master's name, you don't even need to say help me, no, it's unnecessary. Anyone who still doesn't know the master's name, call me. He felt afraid, he called for one of us, or for the master or for me. And you will have the courage to continue. This is how you become more and more empowered. And that's what I need you to do, that's what we need you to do. So today, I want to extend an invitation to all of you. Many people think that sometimes I am extremely angry in what I say, I'm tough, I recognize that yes. But I already said, if I came here with sweet words, it wouldn't be me. I am a warrior, I am a commander. I love my soldiers, unconditionally. But it's not because I love them that I'm going to let them do what they want. I want everyone evolved. So the exercises are difficult, but I guarantee that whoever goes through them all will be more than ready. And it will be that pillar, in which the world will collapse around it and nothing will happen to it. So, so that they don't say that I just talk and talk and do nothing, I want to invite you next Monday at 10 a.m., I will do a live meditation. There will be no speech, I will comment nothing. It will just be a meditation, so that once again, you have the chance to be together, with a meditation programmed by me, not for you, for me, to receive the energy of all the masters. So that you once again have the chance to definitively know who you are. Now, once again I say, no expectations, no disappointments, no envy. It's an open heart. Get these feelings out of your hearts. Because as long as they are in your hearts, you will see nothing. You have to be grateful, to the master who always took care of your soul, or masters. It may not be the one you wanted, but it's the one your soul has. And it's not your disappointment that will change him. Don't be ungrateful, with someone who only wants the best for you, since the creation of your soul. If you only have one, it's because your soul only needs one. If you have two or more, it's because your soul needs more. I already said this here, I hope you understand. The more masters you have, it is because your souls are more targeted and have to be more protected. And that. Do not envy these souls, because they are in danger all the time. They are not with three, four masters to show off, it is to be protected, so that they are not attacked. So don't envy them. Each one has a mission, each soul came with a mission. So just be grateful. Whoever does the egregore at this time will do it later with the time shift. Or just don't do it on Monday, do it another day, but the meditation will be at 10 p.m. on Monday. August 17th I'm warning you today, so you can prepare. You don't need to bring anything. Now, everyone prepares in their own way, everyone balances and concentrates, in their own way. So there will be no messages, no comments of any kind. It's start, it'll go in, do the meditation and it's over. I could leave this meditation recorded, but I don't want to. I want it to be with all of you together. 
For those who want to do the meditation, with the time displacement, I will dictate the displacement, my Archangel Michael. May you move me in time, to 10 p.m. on August 17th, so that I can do the meditation of the spiritual masters, together with everyone. So there it is. My brothers, don't miss this chance, because the chances are ending. It will be a moment of great light, in which anyone who is truly open-hearted will know who their master is. If you can't, start investigating your ego, because there is something wrong there. And then, I remember again, it could be an image, it could be a color, it could be a name breathed into your mind, it could be anything. This varies according to each soul. So just, be ready. I am Archangel Michael. My goal here is to increasingly empower each of you. And I don't lose hope of achieving that.